because you're gonna have to stand on whatever it is that you're trying to say and send my way okay yeah you better say it say it with your whole chest if you're gonna say it right I'm talking crazy. I need you right in my space, but I need it, baby. I'm late, but I. Hey, y'all. It's Kayla Doll. Welcome to my channel if you're new here, and welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. I am so happy to see you again. So, I'm back with the craziest story time from the cruise that I recently took with my mom and my sister. Okay? Y'all know I got stories, and this one in particular. It's so crazy, so bizarre, so unnecessary. But if you've been here before, you already know that my life is crazy. So let's get into it. The cruise that we decided to take was the Carnival Horizon, and the three stops were Jamaica, Grand Cayman, and Cozumel. Tell me why this was wonderful. Like, the vibes was great, the people was amazing, like, very friendly. Everything was going swimmingly, okay? Up until the point where we got to Grand Cayman. I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was. So we get off the ship when we're supposed to and we're waiting to be processed and everything. So the first red flag was we had to get off on like a different level. And that was kind of like unclear. Granted, we probably should have been in those briefings or whatever, but it was a whole bunch of people that did not know where to go, just like us. So I don't know what that was about, but yeah. So we went on a little scavenger hunt to figure out where we were supposed to get off the boat so that we could explore Grand Cayman. So once we finally figured out where we were supposed to go to get off of the ship, everybody was following us and we was just acting like we knew where we was going, but we did not, honestly. We did not. We was just going off faith, okay? A wing and a prayer. So once we finally got there, we got off of the ship. And like I told you, it was me, my mom, and my sister. And we always a good vibe. So we had a great time, okay? We went on a little tour and everything. Tell me why the problems start coming when we are getting back on the boat. So for Grand Cayman, you had to actually take a ferry, which is why we had to get off on a different level. We had to literally get off of the boat onto a smaller boat so that they could take us to the island, okay? So they are taking people on this ferry, and I think it's either like 100, I think it was like 100 people at a time or something like that. So they're counting and letting people go through. So it stops right in front of us, like right in front of us. Well, when we looked over, we saw this man that was pushing this older guy in a wheelchair. So of course we're like, oh, you know, you can go ahead and get in front of us to make sure that you can get on the ferry, you know, and choose wherever you want to sit, whatever, whatever. So you'll be on there before everybody else, basically. Now we didn't have to do that, but that is like common courtesy, like, you know, like, I don't know how to explain it. That's just the way that we are. So we told him that he could get in front of us or whatever. So mind you, we're waiting on the next ferry. We are technically the first people, but we let them get in front of us to be the first people. In the meantime, in between time, here goes this lady coming from the right side of us. And she's like, you need to get in front of them because we've been waiting. So the dude following her lead, he says, well, we've been here. We've been here waiting. Actually, that was not the truth. That was not the truth and the whole truth, okay? Technically, she had went to the bathroom, and he went to wait for her at the door of the bathroom. So when we, literally when they was counting people, we just kind of walked up, and they stopped us because the ferry in front of us was full. So we didn't know anything about these people because they was not standing there when we came up like so he just presses his way and they're arguing she's like well why would you leave me over there and all types of stuff okay so they dog on there getting into a fight and i'm just like i'm not gonna be no referee for no older couple okay get it together thank you so tell me why we just let them go because it's no problem you know everybody gonna eventually get on a ferry it's no big deal even though the people behind us was like um no like where are they going and I understood that, but honestly, it was not no pressure to me. Like, we're all going to end up back on the ship. It's not even, 
you know, it's not even like we're cutting it close to the time that we're supposed to be back on. Also, you're in the line, so relax. Tell me why we get on the ferry and when we are back to the ship. So everybody is about to get off now. We've made it back to the ship. We see these people and the, the guy that I told you about, the guy that was pushing the guy in the wheelchair. Technically, they were supposed to get off first because he was in a wheelchair and also they boarded first, you know? So I don't know, you know, technically all the time it's like, oh, first one on, last one off. But in that case, I think it was because he was like special needs or handicapped. They was like, no, you're going to get off first so that you can get to where you're going. Because once people start moving around, it's going to be a whole lot, whole lot. Okay. So tell me why this lady was coming from the bottom because the ferry had two tiers so it's the bottom of the ferry and the top of the ferry of course we was at the top because we boarded first so the lady is coming up from the bottom of the ferry and she is trying to jump in front of the guy pushing the older guy in the wheelchair and now the guy has a woman that's with him so i don't know when she boarded because like i said we let them get in front of us so i i saw when they got on the ferry because they was right in front of us and they did not have a woman with them at the time so i'm guessing she was just like further in the line and then once she finally got on the ferry she just sat with them because they was together but they weren't they weren't like standing together if you get what i'm saying so this lady is going to be so important we're going to call her psycho okay now, the lady is trying to jump in front of Psycho, the older guy, and the guy who's pushing him. And she does not part her lips. It was so bad and so disrespectful, so inconsiderate, that other people were speaking up on their behalf. Like, hey, you know, they have a guy with a wheelchair. Can you just let them go first? Like, you're going to get off. Just let them go. And mind you, there's, they was the only people that needed, like, special attention. So... Why wouldn't you just let them go ahead? But she did not, Psycho did not mumble a word. Now, I think it was because of this right here, but we gonna get into it, okay? You didn't hear that from me. That's just, give me a tinfoil hat because that's what I believe, okay? So tell me why we get off of the ferry back onto the ship. Now, we have to wait on elevators, okay? So the way that, this cruise ship worked was you're going to go and press what floor you're trying to get to and then the thing is going to tell you which elevator to get on it's normally letters so let's just say a b c d if i'm trying to get to floor four i'm going to press it and it's going to tell me to wait for elevator c because elevator c is going to stop on floor four okay so tell me why they, mind you they was in front of us so they had already Press the floor. They're waiting. It was a large group of people that was traveling together that also had to catch the same elevator that Psycho and company had to catch. So if that was the case, I guess they was not being assertive enough, but we was all the way on the other side waiting on elevator K, okay? That didn't have nothing to do with us. So their elevator opens up and the large group rushes in. I guess it was no room for the guy in the wheelchair or what have you. Mind you, like I said, that didn't really, we wasn't really even paying attention like that. We just knew that they was there before us, but waiting on a whole different elevator. So we wasn't really worried about that. Well, tell me why when our elevator opens up, mind you, waiting for this elevator was just me, my mom, my sister, and two older couples. So we're just talking to each other like such a good vibe. So those people are so nice. So we're just making conversation and stuff, you know, talking. And our elevator opens up. Well, all of a sudden, Psycho sprints from the other side. And she literally, like when I tell y'all, so the two older couples got into the elevator. Psycho sprints over and she's in front of us like, no, we have been waiting here. We have been waiting a long time. We've been down here. He is in a wheelchair. And I'm just like, 
if that was the case and you was always waiting on this elevator, you would have been in front of us because we came up after you. So what are you talking about? Not to mention we saw you and we saw which elevator you was originally supposed to take. If you missed it, then you missed it. But don't make it seem like I hate that type of stuff. Like, do not make it seem like we just jumped in front of you or we're being inconsiderate. Oh, when I tell y'all, Psycho was a piece of work. So she just keeps on going. And so my mom is like, well, he's like, if he would like to push the guy onto this elevator, he can. So the, the dude gets the guy, the older guy, in the wheelchair, on the elevator. She's too busy trying to press her way. And I'm like, no, ma'am. So I'm in the elevator. My sister is in the elevator. The two older couples are in the elevator. And the guy and the dude in the wheelchair is in the elevator. Who's missing? My mother. And so I'm like, uh, my mother's going to ride this elevator. Like, if you got this weight on the next one, my mother is going to get on this one. Okay? You got a nasty attitude, so you need to move. Right? Of course, I didn't say that because I'm not going to turn up just yet. But I did say, no, mom, come on. Like, you're going to ride this one. And so my mom pressed her way because it was room. Then all of a sudden, Psycho is the last one. She is literally stuck on the door. Like, she pressed her way. She just tried to make it such a thing. Now, mind you, it was room for my mama. It's not room for you, sourpuss. It's not room for you. So she presses her way onto the elevator with us. And so her attitude was so nasty. And I was joking with my mom and my sister. I'm like, oh, child, you got to let the bear sleep. Because one thing about me, when you wake me up, it's going to be a problem. And and y'all finna see that like right now. Okay. So I'm like, oh, y'all, y'all just let the bear sleep. Just let her sleep. Right. So my mom and my sister was like chuckling about it. We was joking. All of a sudden... Miss Psycho, she want to talk at me, and she's like, might as well. And so y'all know, y'all know, I am very direct. So I said, might as well what? Because you're going to have to stand on whatever it is that you're trying to say and send my way, okay? Yeah, you better say it. Say it with your whole chest if you're going to say it, right? So I'm just like, might as well what? She like, let the bear sleep. So I'm like, well, maybe if you lose the attitude to ask people nicely, because quiet as it's kept, nobody actually has to do anything and bend over backwards for you. It's a common courtesy, yes, but you're not entitled to it. So maybe if you ask like you have some sense and stop like yelling at people as if you somebody mama, you could get a lot further. So then all of a sudden, girl, shut up, girl, shut up. So this is a problem because I feel like she only started with us because we appear to be younger. So who are you girling? Who are you girling? Like, who you talking to, psycho? When I tell y'all, I was so ready to turn up on that lady. But like I said, it was two older couples there. Let me tell you how stuff be working. So y'all know how I said that she was on the wrong elevator. Like she was not waiting on that elevator. Well, when the elevator got to our floor, they had to get off because that was the wrong elevator and that elevator was not stopping on whatever floor they needed to get off on. Please tell me why. So they get off with us. So I'm like, you are just so rude and ridiculous. Like, that is so unattractive. I'm literally telling her, like, in the nicest way possible without cursing her ass out. I'm just telling her, like, that is ridiculous. You are a piece of work. And I feel so bad for this man who is actually trying to care for this person because he has to be with somebody who's trying to take advantage of the perks that you get when you have a handicapped person. Like, he could have rolled the elevator. You're the one. You should have just waited on the next one because the point should be so that the man can get where he needs to be, right? But no, you want to make stuff about you. Like, that's, oh my God. When I tell y'all, this lady was so ridiculous. I definitely said what I said and I know that you heard me. You heard what I said, right? So she's like, oh my God, shut up. 
I'm like, I am still talking. If it's really pressure, if it's really pressure, then show me then. Like, if it's really pressure. But you're so disrespectful. Like, I'm not going to respect nobody that's behaving like you. And while you talk about, girl, you're the one that's acting childish. You're the one. Like, what's wrong with you? So I'm like, are you normal? Like, you don't really talk to people. So I'm, I'm giving her ass the blues, okay? Mind you, like I said, we got off on the same floor. She running that way. She running the whole opposite way. When I got off on our floor, I just stood right there because I'm like, this lady is clearly like crazy as hell, but I'm gonna tell her what she needs to hear and I'm gonna stand right here and do it. She's the one running the opposite way. So the man, y'all, the crazy part was this man did not say anything. The guy pushing the older guy in the wheelchair because he knew that she was starting with somebody who literally let them go in front of us. Like I said, she was not with them at the time. So she didn't know that we actually like the whole time was looking out for them. She keeps on going and she literally like going down the hallway, just saying B word this and all this other stuff. And I'm like, girl, like I said, you're the one running the other way. So y'all know this type of person she like, well, come over here then. Come over here then. I said, girl, this is not no marathon. I am not finna race your ass to the other side of the boat. I'm right here. I've been standing right here. Like, do not even play me like that, please, okay? Not to mention, that's how you know that this is a person who has nothing to lose. Because who the fuck is gonna go to jail for fighting on a cruise? How do that even work? Do they just put you at the bottom of the damn boat with... I don't even know the damn cleaning supplies or something until you can get off and go to actual jail. Like, how did that even work? I'm like, you are really, you're off your rocker, right? So she just keep on, come over here, come over here. If you bad, if you bad, come over here. I'm like, I never said I was bad. I'm just gonna let you know that you don't talk to people any type of way. Like, that's what it is and that's what I said and that's what I'm gonna stand on like you're the one running down the hallway it was so bizarre but y'all tell me why they ended up being in the corner because they had to go and catch another elevator ridiculous she is up here arguing about an elevator she was not even supposed to be on in the first place but that's how you know that this is just a person who does shit just for the hell of it bizarre now fast forward to like the next night they was having an 80s party and we're there you know being a good vibe we're singing all the songs and we are dancing and everything and then all of a sudden my sister's like y'all are not gonna believe this shit and we're looking at her like what's going on tell me why she was like this is the lady this is her y'all she has spotted us out of all of these people, all of the people that was there at the 80s party, she has spotted us and came to stand a little bit off from us. I guess because she wanted somebody to start with her in front of people. But this time she had backup, which was her bald head friend. And I'm not saying like bald head like that. She actually had like a buzz cut. You know what I mean? So literally i have videos of this lady in the back of my video like she's in the back of my video then once she realized she's on camera then all of a uh, all of a sudden she wants to walk to the side these was not real people like these was not actual people they didn't have no sense and so my mom started going up because she's like okay Please don't act like you want it like that. Please do not, like, you just literally found us out of everybody and now you're trying to, like, stand next to us, trying to start again. And so my mom was just giving her the blues. Giving her the blues. Like, then all of a sudden they're going to walk off. The craziest part about this whole thing, y'all, the craziest part was that when we saw them again, where she had walked down from, they was actually, like, almost an entire floor higher than us. So she was just looking down, spotted us, and came to where we was. Just a psycho, just a weirdo, but little does she know, like, honestly, and I told my mom and them, I'm like, listen, 
this is the person that's how you know she does not have anything to lose probably ain't got shit to go back to nothing like that because who in their right mind if a person has shown you that they're not with that bullshit why are you still antagonizing them like it it makes no sense mind you the dude was still standing up there i don't know where the man was because they didn't even had a man i guess they had put him to bed and then came to the 80s party don't ask me but he was not with them so yeah yeah y'all unnecessary just ridiculous but if somebody is trying you i don't care where you at like do not let anybody speak to you any type of way don't let anybody little girl you especially when you know that you have common courtesy and you was raised right so you're always going to try and accommodate people like so don't let nobody play you like you're one of those rude people but mind you like i said she didn't say nothing to the lady who tried to cut in front of her almost hopping on top of her toes on the ferry so what was what was just let me know what was the difference i told you what the difference was give me my tinfoil hat because okay that's all i'm gonna say thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one bye